Hello everyone, Satorn here, taking another quick look at Vicky's 3 new beta branch 1.2.1 and the changes that's been done to the construction as well as economic systems, so let's get into it. So the first obvious change is in the upper right hand corner, you can see the queue has now been split into government construction on top and then private construction on the bottom and you can actually see the little icons and hover over them. There's also a new button, you can also hit the B to go to the construction queue, but you go here, it shows you your overall construction 9 out of 9. And when we go here now we can see that we're looking at the private construction and we can hit another button to show the government construction. So you can see the different queues here. You could also hover over the investment pool and get a breakdown of what's going on and what can be built. Another important thing in this window is that you can see where things are being invested. So the capitalists here are investing in textile mills is showing you what state it's going to happen in and then how far it is along. Uh, so I think that's pretty interesting to know what's coming up next. Another big change is going to be your early game is going to be a little bit slower depending on your country. So construction, depending on your economic system, will be split. So you can see here for the government buildings, we're only getting 4.45 out of the nine weekly construction and the same thing for the private sector they're taking four out of that so it's a split of 50 percent um, and that's all dependent on your economic system so you can check it out and see what you have and that'll also determine what the private sectors will build right for agrarianism is going to be more agriculture uh, and depending on where you are on these other economic systems they'll be building different things it also changes where the investment pool money is going to come from you can see traditionalism you're still going to get an investment pool which is new uh, but it's going to be a lot less, right? Your aristocrats and capitalists are not going to invest as much, um, but you're still going to be able to, to get some sort of traditionalism actually gets kind of a little bit of a buff, I think. Um, interventionism isn't too bad. So here it's the 50-50 split and you can subsidize all buildings. So it's not 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 too bad. Uh, agrarianism, again, is good early on if you're building up your agriculture. Uh, Laissez-faire is a little bit different. Uh, you got capitalists and I think shopkeepers wasn't one before. So that's new. And you have 75% private construction. So this is where you're really sitting back. Um, and <laughs> as far as the government goes, you're going to have very little uh, construction capacity. Cooperative ownership. It's plus 35% uh, private construction, so it's a little less than normal. It can subsidize all buildings, but you're getting investment pool from farmers and shopkeepers. Uh, so that one's pretty cool. A uh, command economy, you would think, is almost like how the game was originally, but it's not because there's no investment pool. So this, though, is you are 100% in control in the construction queue. So this may be something uh, you want to be leaning towards more, uh, you know, if you want to get back to that feeling that you can use all your construction. But by the end of the game, or if, I mean, central planning isn't that, well, it is pretty hard. That's a tier four tech. Um, so getting to this, uh, by that point, you may have so much construction, it may not matter. Uh, so I don't know. We're going to have to do some run throughs and, and see how that all plays out. But the biggest thing, like I said, the split here of your construction means you're going to be making a lot more construction sectors. Um, you're going to have a lot less control over your buildings and also your states. So, for example, these private sectors, right, they're going to build um, a livestock ranch, which maybe that's not what I wanted. Um, it's also going to increase my interest groups, which I might not necessarily want. So this is going to most likely help the rule group more than anyone else. And maybe that wasn't the direction I wanted to go. But uh, again, I have no choice. Um, they also may be building in states where they're going to take up peasants that you don't want that to happen. So it's definitely a lot less control. In uh, my previous video, I showed how we have more control over war diplomatic plays. Here, we're getting less control over construction. If you'd like for me to break down more of Vicky 3's Beta 1.2, put it in the comments below. Hit that like, subscribe, notification button. It's free. And as always, for the swarm.